Standing by for the handoff to Discovery's computers. T minus 31 seconds. The handoff has occurred. Discovery's computers now controlling. Twenty-five. Firing chain is armed. Twenty. Sounds of pressure water system is active is being activated. Rain station systems armed. T minus ten seconds. Go for main engine start. Seven, six, five, three engines up and burning. Three, two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery, beginning America's new journey to the moon, Mars, and beyond and the vehicle has cleared the tower. Houston's now controlling. Commander Ali Collins confirming Discovery's rolling onto a course for rendezvous at the International Space Station. Discovery's already traveling at 400 miles per hour. Altitude 12,000 feet. This a view from a camera mounted on Discovery's external fuel tank. Three engines on Discovery are now throttling down to two-thirds throttle to prepare the spacecraft to pass through the area of maximum air pressure and go supersonic. One minute since launch. Discovery speed now 900 miles per hour. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. All systems remain go for Discovery. Altitude now nine miles, six miles northeast of the launch pad. One and a half minutes since launch, Discovery's already consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant. It weighs less than half of what it did at liftoff. Speed now 2,000 miles per hour, altitude 18 miles, 14 miles northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. Standing by now for a burnout and jettison of the twin solid rockets. Booster officer confirms clean separation of the solid rocket boosters. Discovery now on its three main engines, second stage. Speed now 3,030 miles per hour, altitude 33 miles, 40 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery's oil maneuvering system engines are now firing to assist its climb to orbit. They'll fire for about 2 minutes and 19 seconds. This again, a view from camera on the external fuel tank for Discovery. Discovery Houston, two engine Zaragoza. They go well. Altitude 67 miles, 350 miles northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery speed now 9,200 miles per hour. Discovery is rolling to a heads up position now to assist its performance as it uh, finishes its ascent to orbit. Discovery Houston, press to Miko and single engine Zaragoza 104. Press to Miko and single engine Zaragoza 104. Those calls that Discovery could reach its planned orbit on only two engines if needed, all three. 700 miles northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. 30 seconds to cut off of the main engines. Discovery speed now 16,000 miles per hour. Standing by for cutoff, Discovery's three main engines. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff for Discovery. Standing by now for jettison of the external fuel tank.
Live television as uh, Discovery jettisons external fuel tank. All normal with the cutoff of Discovery's main engines. Discovery performing a maneuver to fire its jets and ensure clean separation from the tank. Discovery, we have a good plus X maneuver. Copy the good plus X. We saw a... Now Commander Allen Collins in control of Discovery's approach. Discovery approaching a final turn to align with the runway, a right overhead 197 degree turn. Discovery's altitude 30,000 feet. Discovery's descent to, to the runway, 20 times steeper than that of a standard commercial airliner's descent. Discovery now banking to the right as it begins final turn to align with the runway. Wing ang wings angled 50 uh, degrees. At the 180. Discovery, I'm at the 180. That call that Discovery is on course with 180 degrees left to go and it's turned to line with runway 22. Altitude 22,000 feet. Discovery Houston, on at the 90. Discovery, on at the 90. Altitude 17,000 feet. Just over 10 miles to touchdown for Discovery. Houston, Discovery has the runway in sight. Copy, runway. This is a view from the heads-up display for pilot Jim Kelly. A live view out uh, the forward windows. Looking down at Edwards Air Force Base. Discovery rolling on to align with the runway. Altitude 7,000 feet. Altitude 5,000 feet. Discovery descending through 3,000 feet, three miles to touchdown. One thousand feet. Landing gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Drag chute deploy. Nose gear touchdown. And Discovery is home. Roger, we'll stop Discovery, and congratulations on a truly spectacular test flight. Stevie Ray, Suichi, Andy, Vegas, Charlie, Wendy, and Eileen, welcome home, friends. 
And thank you. Those are great words to hear. We're happy to be back, and we congratulate the whole team for a job well done. We're going to page 5-3. And we'll meet you there.